get all lined up. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Look how easy that is, and it's on there nice and tight. Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I just got a quick one for you. I'm gonna be finishing up the coolant line routing for my turbo. A couple of videos ago, I showed you the fittings I was using, then I showed you how I routed the oil lines. Now it's probably time to like wrap up that series of just like getting the turbo squared away and get the coolant lines all set up. You can probably see behind me, I've got a bunch of videos in the works on this engine. Yeah, some really interesting stuff coming down the pipeline, so stay tuned as I continue with this build. But for today, I'm gonna show you how I routed my coolant lines for the turbo and also a cool tool that I use to get this done. So hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, so I've got my drain, I've got my oil feed, and I've got my dipstick situation all set. So now I need to get my coolant line set up and then I can just be sort of done with this part of my build. And also just see like where routing is gonna go and make sure that I've got room for other things I'm gonna do in this area. So um, for today's video, I'm gonna make some coolant lines. What I've got going on here is, all right, obviously here is my water pump. Here is a page of the factory repair manual that I just printed out, uh, the cooling system page CO2, <laughs> and um, here is a 7M GTE, and it shows the coolant flow diagram, so I know where the coolant is gonna be going in and where it's coming out of, and that works out perfectly because for the tilt of the turbo, you want the out to be sort of facing up so that any air bubbles can burp their way out. So we're gonna be going out and in, and then out and in. To aid in this, I've got a whole bunch of little red horse fittings, and also a cool new tool that I'm excited to show you. So bear with me and let's get these coolant lines routed. So of course on the turbo, we're starting with these fittings here, which I did talk about in my previous video, link up above. And there's a crush washer in there. So get those nice and tight, excellent. And on the rear side of the turbo here, I've got that same fitting as I do on the front side. Gosh, look how perfect that is. It's like a straight shot, doesn't interfere, and then I can angle like so. Oh, then I'm gonna cut it right there. I'm just gonna place this fitting in this side here. And I will say, like, normally these push locks are not that difficult and you can do them by hand. However, this high performance one has a really, really stiff wall, and it's actually pretty hard to get on. And I'm, you know, I'm. <laughs> I weak people, so. And when you place the hose into this portion of the tool, you wanna to make sure that there's quite a bit protruding. Also, can I just point out that this tool is so extreme. Like if I cannot tighten this tight enough just by hand, you can also use a 17 millimeter socket on this thing. So the same socket that I'm using to like tighten and loosen it here, I can, let's say, I mean, I don't need to, but if I needed to get a little extra help there. This thing is so over-engineered. It's, uh, it's insanity. <laughs> and you can see this fitting too. It's pointed up a little bit, so I'm just gonna hold it and tighten this piece by hand until it gets to where I want it to be, or it starts to get like a little bit more difficult, you know? I did lubricate it lightly with WD-40. You can lubricate that. Also, if this is the first time you're using it, you know, you wanna lubricate. See, I know this is not a lube. It's a water displacer, but you get the idea. <laughs> Keep all the threads lubed. I'm gonna go ahead and put my socket on there. And that's it. Then of course, loosen up this piece right here. And then I can just put my battery operated impact on reverse and get that out of there. Right, let's see how this turned out. That is nice and tight and absolutely perfect. All right, let's get this installed. And then coming off of here, I'm gonna use this angle, I think. So I'm just gonna mock this up like so. So I got this little guy sitting right here and I'm gonna use this sort of shallow angle here to sort of push us away from where that lower radiator hose is gonna go. I wanna be able to have space to install this lower radiator hose and hose clamp it without getting in the way of this. I wanna be able to undo and redo both of these. So I think this is gonna be perfect. Now I've just gotta find my hose and cut it to length. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, Danny, uh, I'm making hose. <laughs> no, I mean, I got the hose. I'm, uh, I'm making my cool lights for my turbo. This one, um, I'm just sort of mocking up right now because this is just like a, a skinny, flexible, just like sort of run of the mill, like sort of cheaper hose. The hose that I'm actually gonna make 
and keep like long term are these high performance 300 psi good for ethanol really thick walled and they're actually really hard to install on the end of these barbs so we got this cool tool actually so check this thing out well, show it to me that's <laughs> awesome and that is a cool tool <laughs> no it is it is oh. a cool tool So right now I've got it set up for 6 a.m. And here, here's like another thing that really bothers me is, you know, when you just get these out of the box, they're all perfect and beautiful and like not a scratch on them. And then you start installing things, you just mess everything up. <laughs> so um, this is really nice. It's got these little, actually it's got what we have, 4 a.m., we got 8, 10. These little, um, these little grips here basically sit on the metal portion of this tool so that it will so you're hold not gonna go the fitting oh. in there all nice. I know, so that's all the way tight. And then the hose goes over here, so actually check this out. I'll just, I'll show you. I can either twist it by hand in and out when it's like simple and easy, or this is a 17 millimeter socket. Just makes it like so easy. You make it look like fun. It's just done. That's done. <laughs> easy i know now like obviously these are these are push lock coolant hoses but imagine if this was like a super thick walled hydraulic line or something like that you'd just be like killing yourself over just getting these ends on so all right ready for the final result yeah I, i'm ready for the final result it's you know gonna gonna mate up nicely with my oil feed my turbo oil that actually looks real sexy it looks good Thank it looks like you. It, yeah it's almost like I planned it out. It's just like, yeah, it wasn't so, just, in, you know. That yeah. looks good. It matches the other one. Look yep. at that. And so then I'm going to get a couple of those little clamps, you know, clamp, clamp, hold them together. And uh, that's going to hold them out of the way. First of all, hold, hold them far away from the exhaust. I mean, it's way over there, but also get them out of the way of any boost piping. And then eventually, depending on where I put my power steering reservoir, which obviously won't be able to sit here anymore because of my massive turbo, this hose will be coming out in sort of this general direction too. So maybe I'll end up putting all three of them together. But yeah, that's, Job well that's done. what I got so far. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in checking out the tool that I just used, check the link in the description. And if you're interested in using any of these similar Red Horse style fittings um, or this lovely Red Horse high pressure, like heavy duty, high performance hose, you should check out Danny's eBay store. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, eBay. Yeah, so, <laughs> so link in description where you can get all these at a great price. And rather than supporting Amazon, which, you know, it's, it's going to put up an Amazon store, get a little kickback. But instead of supporting the man, support the, the man. man. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be as cool as I am. So thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. And also, if people are wondering, because this is angled, it's like, so what do you do if there's like a straight fitting here? There's also these other um, options. So, and, and look, too, you can put, like, this is not just for small hose. These attachments here are for... Um, oh, big number 10s or 12s, yeah. There we go. Larger hose. <laughs> exactly. So you can install anything. Just, like wow. Said, this is not um, Fisher Price, my first tools. No. No. Um, no, I mean, but then there's also, I mean, that's, look at that, that's massive. But if we had something like a straight one, so you can put it on like so. Oh, okay, for the straight ones. For the straight yes. ones. This is our sacrificial fitting from previous videos, but um, so the, yeah, so that can that's go. an adapter so that you can do the straight. Yeah, exactly. And then if you have the angle, you just yep. do it just yeah. like that. Yeah, and that angle holds, yeah, like that. Right, because where are you going to hold it on this one? You know, you're mm -hmm. you're you're not. You, it's slanted, or you could cause damage if this was, you know, an aluminum fitting or something like that. So yeah, they, they thought of everything. But it comes with that everything. That's a cool tool. Yes. Uh, all right. So, anyways, back to. I'll stop talking about the tool. I'm gonna actually use the tool, Faye.